My name is Kent Pels, and I'm from San Jose, California, and I'm 75 years old. Today I'm going to be loving Marilyn Pels, whom I met and fell in love with the first week in June in 1961. We had a blind date, and three days later we were engaged to be married. We were so madly in love, there were just bells and whistles immediately when we first met. And I can still feel that feeling, uh, and while that original intensity maybe has moderated. My respect and admiration for her has deepened, so uh, the love has taken on a, do, a new definition as we've been together all these years. My name is Tiffany Chow. I'm currently 23. I'm from Palo, <laughs> I'm from Palo Alto, California. I hope you think of all the cute, random, sweet things of my boyfriend. <laughs> so. When was the moment when you first realized that you were in love with him? He had sent me this uh, treasure box, and it was full of these little like tokens and mementos of our time together, and I just kind of melted. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably, um, I'm gonna focus on my ex-girlfriend, whose name is Tracy, and I uh, dated her for uh, a year and a half, and actually moved to another city to sort of, uh, you know, live with her, and and we uh, then ended up working together. And then when we broke up, we were still working together. And I, I did that for about three weeks, and then it was just too much. OK, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Should I take off my glasses? Yes, right definitely. When you're in a relationship like that, it, it's, like, it's kind of like experiencing a death, you know? When it's not around anymore, you kind of you do go through the, the stages of grief, I think, sometimes. I'm going to focus on the first eight months of the relationship, when things were, uh, were perfect. It's actually really important to stay as absolutely still as possible because even just a little bit of head movement will actually swamp the signal that we're mm. looking for. Okay, great. Okay. My name is Morgan English. I'm 24 years old from New York City. This is just to determine uh, when you are okay to go into the scanner. So let's just check, make sure this is okay. I have been meditating on love. I don't think about a specific person. I don't think about a specific scenario. I focus on my lower gut, and then I focus on my chest cavity, and then I focus on my mind. So sort of a truncated chakra meditation. So it should be good. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> so, woo! So, you have to take, take that, that off. <laughs> I don't think that I'm going to win. Um, I don't really know what winning would look like, but I don't feel like I've ever actually been in love. So I'm told that once you are in love, you know it. And if I'm apprehensive, then that means I probably haven't ever felt it. I'll be actually talking to you the entire time. OK. OK, great. Thanks. Great. So we have the dopamine pathway, the serotonin pathway, and the oxytocin vasopressin pathway. Those are the proposed pathways that researchers think are involved in the experience of romantic love. And what's interesting is that all of these pathways seem to be converging on the nucleus accumbens. So that's one of the regions that we're going to be looking at. It may be a primary indicator of how much love they're experiencing. It's amazing to sit here in this facility and like measure brains all the time. And often we're measuring things you know, that can be a little boring. Um, this, this is uh, love is something that everybody finds um, compelling and interesting. It's an important part of everyone's life. Have you ever been in love? Yes, I have. Many times. Many times? Yeah. I can think of so many things that I've loved that don't necessarily relate to romance or lust or whatever the wide variety of responses are that we s attach the word love to. I find love unavoidable and uh, continuous and often coming from somewhere you don't expect.
I love what Ramdas said. Ramdas says if you're in a relationship for the money, for the sex, for the companionship, for any of those reasons, it's not going to last. You have to be in it for what he calls to come to God together. Now, I don't believe he means that it means take take the other person to church. I think he, it means to evolve together. So to me, come to God means that you're e helping the other person to evolve into the person they're supposed to be, and they're helping you evolve. I am Milo, I am 10, and I'm here for a love competition. Love is, love is like a feeling you have for someone that you have feelings about. I don't know, there's a lot of ways to explain it. Yeah. Have you ever felt love? Mm, not like crush love, but I mean, I have, but not crush love. So who will you be loving today? Probably my little baby cousin Ingrid because she's my new cousin and she's very cute. Who do you think will win? Mm. I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. I mean, there's a nice age range. I, I might predict based on age. Uh, maybe one of the older guys. You think? Yeah, I think. I think Experience, you know, being an older guy myself, I think experience uh, might matter. In the beginning of a relationship, the, the hormones are just going crazy. Yeah. Um, and uh, that can really, that could probably be a, a big factor. Yeah. Um, but uh, in this case, you know, you're trying to get people to control it to some extent, right? Yeah. yeah. So you think Kent or Don? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Don. That's my prediction. So you can see that it'll do it on me. Wow. Right. <laughs> now we're going to go into the scanner. I think I'm going to run the risk of my brain sort of short circuiting. I'm just going to be centering myself inside of my gut and trying to feel warmth. I'm just really happy to be here. This is like a once in a lifetime experience. What this is showing is that we're collecting a full signal throughout the entire scope of his brain every two seconds for about five minutes. Okay, here we go. and I felt like I was glowing. It was crazy, wasn't it? <laughs> and I just felt like the surge of just warmth and happiness and excitement, you know? Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and it was just, and it just sort of like erupted out of me, you know? 
I, I can't explain it. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know what the hell just happened. Yeah. So you think you did good? I think I actually did kind of good. I, I love that experience. I did. It was profound because I started thinking of all the ways I love. And I, know, I isolated it into feeling protective of like my children when they were born. And then I started thinking of uh, being appreciated by others or honored in what I do. I felt like I was in outer space in a really, you know, trippy, wonderful way. I, I could have stayed in there for a long time. Really? Yeah. Well, I knew my heart rate was up, but it was only after the scan stopped that I knew my like head was also throbbing at the same time. But not in like a dangerous, oh my god, what's happening way, but kind of in like, oh, okay. The feeling was of more of sweetness uh -huh. and um, how much fun it was. So we, we've been blessed with a really uh, lovely 50-year relationship. There wasn't any drama. We didn't have any big tragedies in our lives. Wow. And um, so it was more a feeling of, wow, that's, that was, that's been a good trip. And so how that shows up on my brain, I have no idea. It felt like you guys were seeing some private things. Like, you guys can't see what I'm thinking, but you can see the, the manifestation of that, almost like you're seeing drawings that I've, you know, private drawings or something. When I was in there, I, I, I was, found it fascinating that I was kind of, I felt kind of over it. Oh, really? I felt, I felt like I was over it and like I depleted um, my, my supply of love chemicals for that particular individual. You can only think about a thing too much, you know, and I think, I think I've sort of, I think it might be over that one. So I think that was kind of the, 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 you know, the proof there. It was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. I feel very grateful. I felt like I, I just kept feeling how grateful I was for my life. How blessed I was for my life. And I'm, I just feel like I've always been in the right place at the right time when I needed to be there. You know? I'm really grateful for that. I can't believe I picked a guy that for 50 years has just allowed me to be who I am. Don't